Today we have Dr. Dubey with us, renowned senior consultant of the Department of Cardiac Surgery of Sir Gangaram Hospital, who has solved many obstinate cases. An expert in off-pump coronary bypass and valve surgery. Sir, what is heart valve disease? Well, uh, our heart is like a pump and it has four valves in it. Uh, two on the left side and two on the right side. Most commonly the left sided valves are involved. These valves actually allow blood flow in one direction. So if these valves are not functioning properly, either the blood flow is obstructed or there is a leakage back into the chambers. So there are two kinds of involved uh, functional manifestations of a valve disease. One is either they would cause an obstruction to the forward flow or there would be a back flow because of leakage. So what are the signs and symptoms of the heart valve disease? Uh, well the signs and symptoms vary according to the site of the uh, 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 valve which is involved. I mean depends whether it's mitral, aortic or tricuspid valve. But most commonly, it, it's either breathlessness. Initially, it manifests as breathlessness on doing activity. Later on, in later stages, it becomes a breathlessness at rest also. Patient has difficulty in lying down and sleeping. All other manifestations are chest pain, giddiness, and palpitations. Palpitation means awareness of heartbeat. When the heart tends to run very rapidly. What causes heart valve diseases? Uh, the majority of uh, cases in our country are because of rheumatic heart disease. Now, rheumatic heart disease is very prevalent in the un underdeveloped world. If you go to the US or Europe, the, they have almost very few instances of rheumatic heart disease. This generally follows uh, uh, a throat infection during childhood or, or adolescence which in certain susceptible patients lead to heart, heart valve uh, uh, issues. The other common causes are the second most common cause is degenerative as, as the age advances then uh, certain valves can get affected uh, with degenerative process and you could have that. Other common causes are uh, sometimes there may be uh, birth defects which could lead to valve problems and also at times it could be because of certain connective tissue disorders which could lead to valve problems. And last question, how is heart valve disease diagnosed? Uh, well the most important thing in any diagnosis is patient clinical history that is symptoms and signs. So a clinical examination of the patient is must which would suggest a heart valve disease. Then we have to do basic investigations like ECG and X-ray and these days most of the time the diagnosis is confirmed by echocardiography which is nothing but an ultrasound of the heart. However at times certain special uh, investigations like uh, angiography or catheterization may be required in some select patients. Thank you, sir. Thank you.